Gazing across the valley of the Wailua River and its Nanikawa Pond, you see the gold-leafed domes of Indian design shimmering in the sunlight. With majestic Mount Waialeale in the background, you are beholding the towers of Iravan Temple, a pure and powerful white granite wonderment carved in India entirely by hand and erected 10,000 miles away on Kauai, Hawaii's Garden Island. Iravan is the crown jewel of Kauai's Hindu monastery. Being constructed first and foremost as a destination for devotees on annual pilgrimage, Satguru Sivaya Subramunya Swami, affectionately known as Guru Deva, the founder of Kauai's Hindu monastery, often stressed the pilgrimage aspect of Iravan. Quote, In 1995, as I look into the future, I see Iravan as Mount Kailas or the Amrath Cave Isalingam, a silent citadel hidden within a rainforest on the furthest landmass from all continents. I see Iravan as a yoga citadel, a place of pilgrimage for the devout, sincere, and dedicated. This is a place where you do not have to invoke God, for God is here, for this is where heaven meets earth. This temple was inspired by a series of mystical visions of Shiva that came to Guru Deva early in the morning of February 15, 1975, in which he saw Lord Shiva seated on a large boulder later discovered on the property, which was overgrown at the time. These visions inspired him to begin this exquisite temple, unlike any in the world. Then Gurudeva himself performed puja, pouring the sanctified milk and kumbha water over the granite stone. Next, Gurudeva gave Ganapati Stampuri a very special blessing as the project architect. And finally, at the auspicious moment of 1.08 p.m., Gurudeva made the long-awaited first blow to the stone. The process had now begun. Iravan Temple was designed by one of India's greatest temple architects, the late Ganapati Stapati. The temple carving began with stones quarried in Karnataka, India. No dynamite was used to split the stones. It was all done by hand with chisels and hammers. Each stone was hand carved in India and then shipped to Kauai. Literally, tons of chisels were needed to keep the silpies busy carving the stones. Soapy blacksmiths used a forge to keep the chisel sharp. In some cases, the chisels needed to be sharpened after just a few minutes of use. In 1995, the groundbreaking ceremony, or Panchasilanyasa Puja, blessed the sacred land prior to building the concrete foundation. At the height of the puja, huge amounts of precious metals and jewels were placed as a massive storm blessed the monastery. After years of research and preparation, in August of 1999, the foundation of Iravan Temple was poured, using fly ash. At the time, the lead engineer exclaimed, This hasn't happened for 2,000 years. It's historic. Not since the Greeks and Romans has such a massive placement of concrete been completed without a single crack. A couple years later, in 2001, with an elaborate ceremony, Satguru Sivaya Subramunya Swami and Master Temple Builder Ganapati Stapati placed the first stone on Iravan Temple's foundation. By July 2003, the main sanctum was completed and the first pillars were erected. In August 2004, a giant crane was used to lift the massive gold-leafed capstone into place on top of the main sanctum. Then in July 2005, the Garbanyasa rites were performed inside Iravan Temple with the priests, stapatis, and monks. Ganapati Stapati says, this is the second time in his life he has done this ceremony, which is done for temples only made of stone. Another set of artisans began work on the Kodimaram flagpole. After carving the wood core, intricate copper cladding adorned the structure. The Kodimaram arrived on the island of Kauai in December 2009. Periodically, Satguru Bodhinatha Valenswami and the monks would visit the Indian Bengaluru carving site. While carving in Bengaluru continued, a 10,000-pound bronze base for the Iravan crystal lingam was being forged. Five metals were melted together in huge crucibles. The molten metal is then carried and poured into underground wax molds. 
After careful polishing and embellishment, a golden base emerged. Being located at the heart of a traditional Hindu monastery complex, reminiscent of ancient Adinams of India, Irvan is more than a temple. It's a pilgrimage destination, a place of spiritual rejuvenation. Carving of the remaining stones of the Nandi Mandapam continued in 2017 with great energy at our worksite in Bengaluru. The Mandapam is like a small temple in front of the larger Iravan temple. It has the most elaborately carved stones of Iravan temple. This is due to the smaller size, just 15 feet on each side, and to the new tools that have evolved in the 2010s. In 2017, after 27 years of carving, the only part which remained to be carved was the massive and mystically important perimeter wall. The perimeter wall is a total of 475 feet in length. To provide the rough material for the wall, some 50 massive granite slabs were harvested. The slabs were then sliced into near finished size using the worksite's giant circular stone saw. It took over 400 man days for each of the 50 sections of the wall to be carved. Each section consists of three pieces, the wall panel, a pillar, and a decorative stone flower pot. On other fronts, during 2015 and 2016, significant progress was made with the landscaping of the sacred gardens around Yerevan Temple. Hundreds of special tissue culture plants were imported and put into the ground, and dozens of black stepping stones were placed to create a hillside path. A team of monastics went through the process of cleaning stains and calcite deposits that had accumulated on the stones of Yerevan Temple. Also, the house where the workers stay while on Kauai was completely renovated in 2015. To honor the temple builders, Holly Young, a talented sculptor, completed the Silpi Pavilion statues. They were installed in the summer of 2017. Later that same year, four shipping containers of Iravan stones arrived from India. Two of the 50 elegant polished red granite pots that will sit atop the wall also arrived. In the fall of 2017, the Silpi carvers finished the monumental task of carving all the stones for Iravan Temple, which marked the final phase for Iravan's construction. In March 2018, a group of six Silpis and a temple cook arrived from India. This seven-man team will set out on a two-year project focusing on the Nandi Mandapam and the perimeter wall during their stay. Even though Iravan Temple is not yet finished, new individuals step forward to come on pilgrimage for the first time to personally experience the sanctity that is already present on San Marga and Iravan Temple. Such is the nature of a temple inspired by a divine vision. One of the reasons we are having the temple done this way without um, one piece of machinery working on it is to preserve this ancient art, this magnificent edifice, home of Shiva, the only temple of its kind in the Western world, on a sacred island, sacred to the Hawaiian people. None of us yet know the blessings that'll come. Iravan Temple is a living edifice that brings ancient tradition into the 21st century, a stable anchor sustaining and strengthening Hindu Dharma for our children, their children, and generations to come. Gurudeva stressed many times that Iravan will be a proper, pure, and quiet place where devotees can go within themselves through meditation and daily spiritual disciplines. We all look forward to the completion of Iravan Temple with eager anticipation of its divine presence on the most remote landmass on planet Earth, Hawaii's Garden Island.